A pleasant welcome to you all. In this video, we are going to see about the morphological description of PGNP. The PGNP name was first reported from plants used in Barbados. Vavilan concluded that PGNP originated in India. Van der Meysen concluded that India was the primary center of origin and Africa was the secondary center of origin of PGNP. It is cultivated in many countries in the tropics and subtropics. The PGNP comes under family Fabaceae. It is also known as red gram. The PGNP plant is erect and branching. The stem is woody. Leaves are trifoliate and compound. It possesses a strong taproot system. The plants grow into woody shrubs 1 to 2 meter tall when annually harvested. It may attain a height of 3 to 4 meter when grown as a perennial plant in fence rows. Now, let us see about the root morphology of PGNP. PGNP has a taproot system. The root growth under ideal conditions begins on the second day after sowing of the seed. The primary structure of the root is tetrach. Secondary thickening takes place as a result of cambial activity. The main root of older plants becomes thick and woody. PGNP roots are deep and wide spreading in the soil with well developed lateral roots. Short duration genotypes develop a smaller root system than long duration genotypes. Lateral roots were found much longer in spreading types than in the erect types. Now it is the stem morphology. The PGMP has a strong woody stem. The primary vascular tissue of the stem is organized into strands connecting the nodes. Each strand is associated with a ridge on the stem. Next, we see about the branches. The branching pattern in PGNP depends on genotype and spacing between rows and plants. At a wide spacing, it may form a bush and at narrow spacing, it may remain compact and upright. For agronomic purposes, PGNP plants can be grouped as erect, semi-erect and spreading type. Based on the flowering pattern, it may be determinate or non-determinate. The determinate type completes the vegetative phase and then enters into the reproductive phase. The non-determinate type shows continuous vegetative and reproductive phases. Here, let's see about the leaf morphology. The first two leaves in the seedling, called primary leaves, are simple and opposite. The latter leaves are pinnately trifoliate. The leaf size varies from 6 to 17 centimeter in length and are about the same width. The leaves are pubescent with more on the lower than the upper surface. The hair types are simple or granular. The latter leaves are spherical and contain a yellow oily material, probably responsible for the fragrance of PGNP plants. Here, let's see the flower morphology. The flowers are clustered at the top of the peduncles. The peduncles are 1 to 8 cm long. Flowers are frequently yellow. The bracts are small with a thick middle nerve. They are ovate, lanceolate with hairy margins and curved inwards to form a boat like structure to enclose 1 to 3 young lateral buds. The pedicel is thin, 5 to 15 mm long and covered with hair. The flowers are mostly yellow and papillionaceous are completely bisexual and zygomorphic. The color of the flowers vary from yellow to yellow with purple veins and from yellow to diffuse red. The flowers are usually 2 cm in length. The flower contains different parts like corolla, anther, stigma, style and calyx. The corolla is zygomorphic and bright yellow. The petals are imbricate and of three prominent types, the standard, wings and a keel. The standard is broad and large. The wings are obliquely obovate with an incurved claw. The keel petals are obtuse, round and boat shaped. The keel covers the androsium and gynesium of the flower. Normally, the standard and wings are bright yellow. The keel is greenishly yellow. The anthers are uniform, about 1 mm long. The anthers are light or dark yellow. The calyx is gamosepalous with 5 lobes. The calyx tube is campanulate with nerve teeth. Next, let's see about the pod morphology. Pods are of various color, green, purple, dark purple or mixed with green. Pods with deep constrictions in shape are beaded, while others are somewhat flat. The seeds per pod range from 2 to 7 and sometimes up to 9. The seeds are in separate locules and the cross walls develop during the first week after fertilization. The pod walls develop more rapidly than the young seeds. Here is the seed morphology. The color of the seed ranges from silver, white, green, fawn, black, pink or red to purple. Seed shapes are oval, C-shaped, square or elongate. The number of seeds per pot ranges from 2 to 8. Thus, this video explained various morphological features of PGMP. Hope this one was a noteworthy one. Thank you.